So your talk was very interesting today. Could you briefly sure. explain about your symposium? What is the topic of this session? Sure. So the, the talk, the, all the talks today were about memory and how are cells in, in the brain storing memory, right? So we know now there are certain cells in certain parts of the brain that are engaged in storing memory, and these cells are again active when we retrieve those memories, at least some of them. But memories are not isolated entities, right? So our memories are related, right? So if you close your eyes and think of something important, let's say your graduation, your wedding, your first date, um, you think of something, and then a few seconds later you think of something else. So memories are organized in sets in the brain. And that's highly adaptive because we think of related memories, and with that we can predict the future, what's coming, for example. But we have known how, what are the mechanisms that organize these memories. So what our lab has done is to find that memories that are related, let's say when I think of my wedding, I think of my pants that were a little too short. <laughs> okay. And I always laugh when I think I of that. So how is it that I remember those two events, my wedding, which I, I hold very dear to my heart, and then my pants that were too short? Um, I think that both memories overlap in the brain, that some of the same neurons are encoding my wedding and my pants too short. So when I think of one, I think of the other. Mm -hmm. Unrelated memories don't have the same overlap. So when I think of my wedding, I don't think of my grandson that was just born. That's a separate memory in the brain. So we understand now, at least we think we understand now, the mechanisms so there are molecules that drive the overlap between memory ensembles mm -hmm. and other molecules mm -hmm. that keep those ensembles separated so we don't mix up memories. Oh, wow, that's very interesting findings yeah. actually. Yeah, we are yeah. We are very lucky. We stumble on this mm -hmm. and we have had a really good time uh, studying this. Sounds great. So we ha I have more general questions. Sure. So this EBRO meeting is just the first you know, big symposium uh, conference organized in Korea. Yeah. So could you share some of your thoughts about the EBRO meeting? Yes, it's a wonderful meeting because it involves multiple countries. As I walk around the halls of this beautiful center in Daegu, uh, I see people from everywhere in the world. I see speakers from everywhere in the world and I see attendants from everywhere in the world. I think the world is becoming more and more of a separate place. And I think it's wonderful that in science, we are all of the same nation, the nation of science. And I think for an international meeting to go around the world, I think it's wonderful. The world needs more of that. I see. Yeah. Thank you very much for your nice interview. Oh, you're you. most welcome. <laughs> it's you. been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.